We present an interactive design system that allows casual users to quickly create 3D printable robotic creatures. Recent progress in 3D printing technology and easy to program hardware platforms open the door to a new generation of personalized robots, unique companions that are custom designed according to the needs and preferences of human individuals. However, designing such robotic creatures without assistance is currently a very difficult task that only experienced engineers can successfully undertake. We therefore propose a forward design approach that automates the tedious parts of the design process while providing ample room for creativity and personalization. We implement this approach as an interactive tool that allows the user to design the motion and structure of a robot. During the design, the optimization works in the background to provide constant feedback on the resulting motion. Once a candidate design is found, the user can preview the resulting motion as predicted by physics-based simulation. Finally, having converged on a design, we automatically generate printable geometry for the body parts, including connectors for the motors. The interface provides a set of high-level tools that allow the user to author and edit the motion of the robot. In order to ensure stable walking motion during these edits, the optimization constantly adapts the time-varying motor values such that the center of pressure is always inside the support polygon defined by the position of the feet that are in contact with the ground. The user can issue high-level motion goals such as walk forward, walk sideways or turn. The optimization translates these commands into objectives on the linear and angular velocity of the robot's route and computes motor trajectories in order to satisfy these requests. The motion of the robot is largely characterized by its footfall pattern, indicating for each instant during a gait cycle which of the legs are in contact with the ground and which ones are in flight. The interface displays these information as a time-dependent graph, allowing for quick inspection and editing by the user. In this example, the user changes the duration of the stance and swing phases for all legs, as well as their relative order. The user can also control the overall motion style by directly editing the trajectories for the robot's feet, as well as the time-dependent position and orientation of its body. In this example, the user first changes the orientation of the body for select frames in order to make a twist, and then changes the motion of the feet. The result of these edits is a characteristic walking motion that conveys personality and style. In addition to motion editing, the user can also freely edit the robot's structure by adding or removing motors, thus altering the morphology of the design, or by adjusting the position or orientation of the motors. During these changes, the optimization again provides feedback on the resulting motion, allowing the user to interactively explore the design space of the robot. As shown in this example, the user can thus quickly transform an existing design into a new and compelling robot.
In order to facilitate the creation of physical prototypes, we automatically generate printable geometry for all body parts of the robot. In particular, we propose a procedural method to compute connected geometry for the motors as a function of their relative position and orientation. As can be seen in this example, the method is both fast and robust, allowing it to run as part of an interactive design session. We have used our interface to design a diverse set of robotic creatures with different morphologies and motion styles. A particular feature of our method is that it supports robots with arbitrary numbers of legs, including bipeds, quadrupeds and more exotic cases such as this five-legged creature. The more complex morphology of this creature also allows the user to discover a variety of compelling gates using our interface. As demonstrated in this example, our method also supports actuators within the main body of the robot. In this case, the additional motor allows the robot to rotate its shoulder relative to its pelvis. This leads to organic looking motion that is also well reflected by the corresponding physical prototype. As a more extreme example, this robot uses two actuators for the tail and five for its flexible spine. Note that the swaying motion for the spine and tail emerges naturally from the optimization when setting motion goals for the center of mass. Finally, as demonstrated by this biped robot, our method also supports area feed. This design furthermore features actuated ankles, making for a total of five motors for each leg. Thank you.